Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for participating um, in this gathering today. My name is Ronette Jacobs, as you've been told, and I am honored to share just a little bit of my journey um, with you and why it's so important to me as an educator, um, why it's so meaningful to my life as an educator to be a servant leader. Um, in the slide that you see now, you see a little bit about places that I've been um, and also my birthplace. So I was born in Savannah, Georgia. I'm a Georgia peach. Um, and my family has a, a long history in the Baptist churches, um, uh, specifically the um, first African Baptist church in Savannah. Um, lived in Milwaukee for a lot of my life. Um, and then after like high school, started moving around the planet a little bit and gathering stories and experiences of people um, and seeing the need to, to do something, to serve people. And so I lived in Japan, lived in Hawaii, um, and then found my way back here to Milwaukee, to Alverno College, which is where I currently hold multiple positions. Um, my faith is very important to me. My marriage is exceedingly important to me. And so that's gonna take you to uh, a little bit of a story. As an educator, we tell stories a lot to captivate and engage our students. My journey, as I said, took me to many places and spaces, and one such um, place was this situation that you see on the screen right now. For those of you who do not know, that is Miller Park. And it is shocking to me to think that we ever packed that many bodies in one space and that we were maskless and that we were elbow to elbow with people that we didn't know. Um, I am an introvert. You probably can't tell but I am. Um, and so being in that space was, ooh, it was a lot. Um, and I was sitting next to my husband, who is an extrovert, and um, the story is that uh, as we were sitting and he was devouring brats, um, I decided to ask him a few questions. I wanted to dive a little deeper into our experience at the ballpark that day. And I said, um, what do you see? when you look at these multitudes. And in between, I think it was finishing the second brat, he said, I see potential. Well, um, I didn't have any brats. Um, I had nowhere to put my attention, though I wanted to kind of walk away because I had a feeling he was gonna ask me the question. The question, what do you see? And my answer was, I see problems. I see almost 42,000 problems. I see needs and I see wants and I see pain. And I feel less than sufficient to meet the needs. What he saw was potential, also known as talent. He's an HR director. Good thing he sees talent, right? And he sees potential in people. Um, I'm an educator as was he, you know, in the classroom. And so uh, as servant leaders, we are to see talent and we are to build. As educators, same. I don't distinguish servant leader and educator. They are the one and the same for me. Um, but as you heard earlier, Robert Greenleaf did say a few things about servant leaders and how we see talent and build Servant leaders build people who grow as persons. Servant leaders build people that are healthier and wiser, you heard this, freer and more autonomous. Servant leaders build people who are more likely to themselves become servants that lead. Servant leaders build a society where the underserved benefit or at least will not be further deprived. And for me as an educator, looking at those little faces that you see on the screen, those tiny little people, easy task to see talent. Um, but when we look at grown-ups, we must also do the same. We must see the potential and we must desire to inspire. Sister Joanne Miller, one of the most influential persons, I have so many, um, I'm just, um, overflowing with people with 
the desire to love me, and it, through their love of me, it makes me want to love others. And so, one of the most influential persons I said is this lady. You look at her and you say, Ronette, um, clearly you are not like Sister Joanne. She is, first of all, a nun. I am not. She is a white woman. I am clearly not. Um, but we are both educators who love people. And she loves me in that she has decided that she wants to teach me as much as she can as an over 80 year old, that picture is awesome. She looks just like that. Um, but she is teaching me more about empathy, more about presence, more about listening. Um, Sister Joanne has a, a, a business, a strengths development center at the St. Joseph Center here in Milwaukee. And she has invested her entire life, like the other gentleman that you heard today speaking, in others. My current work is at Alverno College, and it's around servant leadership um, and a leadership program that we started this year that provides a four-year scholarship for African-American women, black women who desire to be leaders and who desire to be influential leaders, servant leaders. And so it's named for Sister Thea Bowman um, and the young women are coming from and have desires um, to do great things. They are coming from all over different, different um, backgrounds and different interests. They will graduate with differing degrees. But these young women seek to build their servant leadership capacity. And we will be launching them into the world as agents of change in four years. For those of you who are wondering, who was Sister Thea Bowman? Sister Thea Bowman was a servant leader, and she was a disciple-making disciple. She knew what it meant to influence. She knew what it meant to be a servant leader. And so Sister Thea said this, this quote, and I typically wouldn't read a slide, but I'm going to read this one. I think the difference between me and some people is that I'm content to do my little bit. Sometimes people think they have to do big things in order to make change. But if each one would light a candle, we'd have a tremendous light. And I'm very fortunate in being the director of the Thea Bowman Institute for Leadership at Alverno in that these are my nine candles. These are the candles that we get to light, um, to inspire, to teach about empathy, these are the scholars, class of 2024, people to watch, leaders to watch, servants to watch. So as a good teacher would, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework, just a little bit. Um, I'd like you to do, um, think about circles of action and do a little um, sleuthing. I want you to find the people who are in your sphere of influence um, people who are in your inner circle, folks that are in your community, people who, if you are, um, I'm not, but if you have a large following on the internet, who are those people? Um, think about how you can serve them, how you can inspire them. And my homework, because I have it too, my homework looks like this. I have a young man at home, he's 11, and we are hoping he demonstrates humility. Um, and we are, while we're building a baseball player, we're building a servant leader. Thank you so, so very much. I appreciate your time.